Last week, we had covered an automation platform called Vectorshift that enables anyone to create AI agents with a simple drag and drop builder as well as with ready-made templates that you can access completely for free. And then with those AI agents, you can have them powered by different large language models. It's possibly the easiest way for anyone to build AI agents and then have them deployed to automate and do practically anything. In that video, I had particularly showcased Vectorshift's new upgraded platform and then showcased how you can use any open source model. And in that case, I used the new DeepSeq R1 model, which would use its reasoning capabilities to power AI agents. And today, we're going to do something quite similar, but with the new Claude 3.7 Sonnet model, which is a new model released by Anthropic, and it is Anthropic's most intelligent model that scores high results in almost every benchmark test, which is surpassing all the GPTs, uh, DeepSeq R1, and many other models. What's also nice is that it's practically the best coding-based model that's available at the current moment. Just take a look at this image that showcases the benchmark scores on Swaybench, which shows that the 3.7 Sonnet outcompetes every model on software engineering tasks, which is the highest score ever recorded in this evaluation. Now I want you to think, this model has a better evaluation overall in comparison to DeepSeq R1, as well as all the other GPTs and many other models, which leads you to think, how powerful the AI agents would be if you were to power them with the Cloud 3.7 Sonnet model. This is why today we will be showcasing how you can easily create AI agents powered by this powerful model to automate almost anything. So with that thought, let's get started and showcase how you can set this all up. What's nice is that you can easily get started for free as you have the ability to create AI agents completely for free with Vectorshift. So head over to the website link that I'll leave in the description below and you can easily get started by creating an account. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. After you create an account or you simply log in, you'll be then sent over to the main pipeline dashboard. This is essentially where you can manage all your automations, chatbots, voice bots, and you can also further categorize them through the left hand panel where you can categorize your knowledge, files, chatbots, and etc. Now, one great thing about Vectorshift is that you have the ability to see your evaluation metrics of your automations. But now that we got a better understanding of this platform, what we're going to do is click on this plus sign and we're going to start off by clicking on create a new pipeline. But you can see that there's various things that you can do, create a chatbot, forum, bulk jobs and such forth. Now we're going to click on create pipeline, but you have the ability to access different predefined templates that have been already created. These are different templates that you can easily click on so that you can get started easily with the ready-made template. But what we're going to do is start off with the pipeline from scratch. Now the type of agent that I'm going to be creating is an agent that is going to be a data extraction agent. The reason why is because this model is able to extract information from visuals like charts, graphs, and complex diagrams with ease. And it's known to be used for data analysis and data extraction as that's what Anthropic has stated within their blog post. Once you create the pipeline, you're going to be then sent over to the main drag and drop builder. And this is something that has now been upgraded so that it's easier for you to create your different automations. For any workflow to be operational, you're going to need to place down an input node and an output node. Think of nodes as action items that will help your agents be directed with different instructions. And these nodes can be easily connected based off of the different context that we give it as well as selecting the output field. Now, if you're new to Vectorshift, this might look quite complex, but it is super easy to work with. And they've actually made it super simple with the addition of outputs towards every single node to help you connect all of them. So this is something that we'll explain as you go further. But essentially you have different types of nodes. The general nodes are gonna be used as the foundation. You have large language model nodes that you can input so that you can access different state-of-the-art large language models from open source to proprietary ones. You have different nodes in different categories, and you also have the ability 
to input different integrations that can help you deploy agents through these different third-party apps. To give you a clear idea, what we're going to be doing is automating the process of analyzing contracts because of how crucial it is in terms of understanding key terms, obligations with lengthy documents. So what we're going to do is use the capabilities of Claude 3.7 Sonnet so that it enhances the process of accurately extracting information from text as well as visuals such as charts and diagrams and making the contract analysis faster and more efficient. For this particular example, we're going to need to process four different modalities with the help of four different Anthropic large language model nodes. And I'll explain this as we go. Essentially, each of them will be processing different sorts of inputs, modalities like visuals, as well as text. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a system prompt and then I'll give you a better idea of what I did. So I went along and I gave a system prompt, which is an instruction that will be guiding the agents to respond or extract information in a particular manner. In this case, it's going to take the contract that I have that is pretty lengthy. It's going to go ahead and it's going to respond in bullet points and it will respond in terms of extracting the duration of the contract, meaning that we're going to be extracting four different modalities from the contract. The second one will be extracting the limitations of the liabilities. The billing start date will be the third node's action. And then the fourth agent will be focusing on the contract value. Essentially, the agents are powered by the large language models to help them execute and perform different actions. And this is based off the instruction that I gave the large language model node to the agents. And you'll notice that this is going to be the best model to use for this particular case. Because the Claude 3.7 model is uh, performing quite well in terms of providing data extraction uh, capabilities as well as data analysis to different users. Now to extract all four of these outputs, we're going to need to actually place down four different output nodes. So we already have one, we just need to go ahead and place down three more. Then you're going to need to connect the input node to all of these different large language model nodes so that the contract is going to be then sent over to all of these different nodes. So go ahead and connect it with the simple drag and drop uh, UI that will help you easily connect everything. So now that you have all the different large language model nodes connected to the input so that the input, whenever you paste in a contract, it will be then sent over to these nodes to extract the different values. But now we need to have it so that it's outputted towards to four different output nodes and to do so what you can do is go over to the first large language model node and then you can go ahead and place down two squiggly brackets and what you can do is select the first input node and then you're going to need to select the output node so that you can then output it to this output node and you can then go ahead and drag it in this is where you use the prompt to connect all the variables together and it makes it super easier so that you can connect the first out input to the next uh, node, which is going to be the output in this case. So in the, in the next example, we can go ahead and place down two squiggly brackets. We're going to have the input coming in, and then we're going to have it outputted as text, and then that text will be outputted to this output node. And we're going to go ahead and do the same for the next two nodes. Also, make sure that the input type is file, because we're going to have different types of files like PDFs or docs sent in to our agent workflow but now that everything is connected we can go over and export this as a form which will output four different outputs after it analyzes the document for us but say if you want to take this a step forward and make this even more automated with integrations you can go ahead and have all of these contents rather sent into a form be sent into something like a google sheet and have all the information that has been extracted from documents that are like pretty lengthy like this into a more condensed version like a google sheet and you can go ahead and do the exact same replication of an output but to a google sheet by connecting it to your google account and that's essentially how you can automate this even further with different integrations you can even have the integrations have inputs in and it can then be processed through this platform and then output it to another app but now that everything is set, we're going to go ahead and click on deploy changes. We're going to then click on deploy and then we're going to go over to export as a forum. And we're going to go ahead and give this a name data extraction 25. And then we're going to go ahead and click on create. So this is where you can actually configure the exterior of your agent. 
And this is where I quickly went ahead and changed the logo, provided a title, contract uh, analysis. I give it a description. And then for the inputs, I simply said upload file. So your contract and then the outputs like the ones that we have within the workflow, which is limitations of liabilities, billing start date, contract value and duration, because that's what we're trying to export out of these different lengthy contracts. So now that we have configured all of these different things, you can also go ahead and actually configure the styling as well. But what, once you have fixed everything, you can go ahead and click on deploy changes, click on deploy. And then now you can export this either as a link. You can also have it so that it's protected with the password, or then you can integrate it within your website. But now we're going to click this and open this up. And now we're going to go ahead and feed it a document. So we now have uploaded the contract. We can then go ahead and click submit. And then now the 3.7 model is going to give us insights on this. And there we go. We have it scouring through this large contract and it was able to provide us the right contents. In this case, it was able to provide the duration, the contract value, the billing start date, as well as the limitations of liability. And that's essentially how I was able to automate the process of contract and analysis with different AI agents powered by the Claude 3.7 Sonnet model. Now, this was just a simple, basic example of what I was able to automate. You can do so much more and better things with automations with different integrations. So I definitely recommend that you try this out with all the links in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video and got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter, follow me on the Patreon, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas